Pablo Across America, day 12, 2011. We have a day off. You might notice I'm not on a bike and I'm not wearing spandex. I'm wearing jeans and I'm with a very handsome man who himself is not wearing spandex. We would never see you on spandex. No, I'm not, that's not a typical outfit for me. <laughs> <laughs> this is my friend Jakir King, um, who I've known since 1998. Seven, yeah, 97. 97, 97, yeah, sorry. I missed our anniversary, <laughs> dude, sorry. Um, Jakir um, and I first met when he um, arrived on my telephone before cell phones, before Twitter, before Facebook, before... Basically, it was during the pager era, let's just yeah. say it. Um, Jakir's a, a, a producer, a mixer. At the time, he was an engineer who was working his way up to, to uh, being a producer, and he engineered uh, the album... Uh, by a band called Citizen King, who I was managing at the time. They were the only band I managed at the time. And Jakir was from San Francisco at the time. Mm -hmm. I live in San Francisco, yeah. And now um, he lives here in Nashville, and he's um, a massive, famous producer, and we are in a studio right now called... Blackbird. Studio D. This is Studio D. What, what kind of stuff has gone down in here with you in this studio in the past? Um, probably the most significant record I made here was the Kings of Leon, Only by the Night. Is that the latest one? No, that the latest one has come around sundown. Oh, yeah. The only by the night um, is uh, yeah the fourth. The, the okay. Fourth record, yeah. So um, Jakir is is a dear friend of mine who we don't get to see each other probably, nearly as much. No, I haven't seen you in the, almost two years. It's been a long time. Yeah. We um, I want to just say something about friendship and about like the journey of life. I remember when Jakir's life completely turned on a dime and Jakir fell in love and then he became a father first he became a stepfather and then he became a father yeah, yeah. and now your son is 10.5 years old yeah great <laughs> it's now. like crazy yeah when well, Matthew is going to be 21 in February insane yeah. so I remember back then we were we were just kids comparatively yeah we didn't know anything back then I still only know just a little bit more than nothing. <laughs> so, you're smart because you know how to use all uh, this. No, I just, um, just feel my way through it. So, we used to like, um, I can't remember if I was really fat then or if I was on my way to getting really fat, but we used to run every morning back in L.A. and, uh, and run these crazy sets of steps in Silver Lake at the end of our jog. And then I would usually feel like I was coughing up blood. And then you moved away, and I he stopped running. He wasn't in great shape, man. <laughs> He's in great shape now. It's all because of you that I gained, like, 40 pounds, dude. Okay, so, um, anyway, Jakir also, to just bring it into the Danger Bird realm, uh, Jakir mixed the first Seawolf record as a massive favor. And I want to say to you on video, for everyone to see, I thank you for that. Oh, it was, it was my pleasure. pleasure. It's a great album. <laughs> he did a great job. I love you. You also mixed uh, Dappled City's album for mm -hmm. us. Also a great record. So we're here um, in the studio. Literally, um, Jakir is producing an album right now, so we have to kind of hurry up with this so we can get back. Um, so the, the record, waiting. So the record company doesn't call me and send me a bill, <laughs> which is kind of what I would do. This is my session. Like, hey, dude, uh, here's a bill for $3,000. So our dedications today, so we dedicate, in the afternoon, we dedicate to, to uh, kids who are off treatment, who are back uh, in their lives, back in school, back playing, not worried about their immune systems and all that junk. So we have two kids today, Connor Lecamele, my apologies if I'm saying your name wrong, Connor, uh, and Kiki Brennan. Connor was diagnosed with stage one Wilms tumor in December of 2010, so less than a year ago. Uh, he's five years old. He's from North Syracuse, New York. Um, he has been six months off treatment today. Today is his six-month OT anniversary, which is incredible. Congratulations. I mean, can only imagine how great you feel today, Connor, not having uh, all that chemo junk in your body. Um, so congratulations on the six months. Uh, Kiki Brennan is eight years old. She's from Randolph, New Jersey. So we've got two kids from, like, the Northeast. Um, she's a triplet. That's pretty cool. Oh, yeah. I like that. The Triplets of Belleville is a good cycling movie, too. Um, she was diagnosed with stage 5 bilateral Wilms tumor in March of 06. Um, and she relapsed a year later and went back into to, to treatment from there and had another surgery. Her most recent scans in February show that she's cancer-free. Uh, she's 27 months off treatment. That's incredible. That's awesome. That's pretty That's damn awesome. awesome. Yeah. Pablo had a stage 5 
bilateral whelms, which means that he had a tumor on each of his kidneys. Um, he had a, a different strain of that particular cancer uh, for which there are no survivors and uh, yet. And um, what Kiki um, is a survivor of is, is the, the sort of the good portion of that type of cancer. And so we are in, we're incredibly grateful today on our day off that um, Connor and Kiki are back in their normal lives and uh, we, we only have the best thoughts for you guys and we hope that when you're old enough you guys are out here riding with us uh, standing in front of this camera telling other people uh, how possible it is to go through cancer treatment and to, and to kick butt. So um, that's why we're raising money. We're funding research directly all over the world. Um, and we are also funding child life activities so that kids with cancer can still be kids and so they, that they aren't just a medical schedule, um, which would just not be acceptable to Joanne and I and, and all of the uh, uh, people involved with Pablo. So uh, day 12, afternoon dedication is done. Um, thank you for inviting us uh, into the studio. Thanks for including me in this. And, uh, Stay tuned for a full instructional video on how to use this beautiful API console. Uh, we're going to have to come back some other time and, and, and uh, film that. See you later.